Speaker, honorable colleagues, it's a motion on the need to condemn the inhuman treatment meted out to Super Eagles contingent at Libya Airport. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, note that the Super Eagles of Nigeria was expected to play a return match picture of the African Cup of Nations qualifier against Mediterranean Night of Libya on Tuesday, 15 October 2024, after they were defeated by the Nigerian Super Eagles 1-0 at Uyo Stadium, Akwa Ibom State, Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, I also note that the Super Eagles of Nigeria flew to Libya on Sunday, 13 October 2024, to play that match of the qualifiers that's slated to take place Good at Good morning. That's later to take place Good at Metayas of February, uh, February Stadium, Benghazi, Libya, at 8 p.m. today, Tuesday, 15 October 2024. Further note that among the Super Eagles contingents are uh, House of Representatives members led by the Deputy Chairman, House Committee on Sports, and also the Deputy Governor of Edo State, members of a Nigerian Football Federation Board, and the entire crew of Nigerian Football Federation. Mr. Speaker, concerned about prostrating 18 hours ordeal paced by the Super Eagles of Nigeria at Al Brak International Airport in Libya, where they were left stranded on arrival at 14 hours on Sunday, October 2024, till the team and the contingent departed from the airport at after 18 hours after 18 hours. Also concerned that the team and the delegation were a road to Benghazi in Libya before the aircraft was unexpectedly diverted mid-flight to the Al-Abrak, a small abundant airport that reserves for emergency in Al-Abrak, Libya. Mr. Speaker, also disturbed that despite diverting the flight to a small airport with little or no amenities, the Libyan authority does not allow the team to get out of the airport or move to their hotel. No access to internet, no food. The airport was caught down and they were held hostage for 18 hours. Mr. Speaker, worried that the Nigerian Football Federation, in a statement on Monday, 14 October, decried the chaotic situation and inhuman treatment meted out to the Super Eagles and the entire contingent unable to reach their hotel in Benghazi, which is uh, three hours away from the airport. The cognizant is that, that the fatigue and the frustrated players resolve not to play the match any longer due to the hostilities by Libyan Football Federation. Mr. Speaker, the following players were resolved. Number one, to condemn in totality the inhuman treatment prostration of the Super Eagles of the Federation by the Libyan Football Federation. Number two, to sympathize with the Super Eagles uh, and appreciate their patriotism. Number three, to urge the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF, to make an official complaint to the Confederation of African Football Cup and the Federation of International Football Association, PIPA, for the dehumanization of the Super Eagles players and NFF contingent by the Libyan authorities on the 13 to 14 October 2024 in Libya. Number four, to call on the federal government of Nigeria to immediately invite the Libyan ambassador to Nigeria for questioning on the development above. Number five, and the last prayer, to mandate the House Committees on Sports and Foreign Affairs to investigate the incident. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I so move. Thank you. So the newest, the latest chairman started development uh, commission. Mr. Speaker, the petition that has just been read is quite a serious one. This, for me, is an embarrassment, not only to the team. He is contributing, not seconding. This, for me, is an embarrassment, not only for the team. Nigerians and also Africans. I fully endorse all the prayers as encapsulated in the motion that was moved by my able colleague, that this matter deserves very, very serious and urgent investigation to make sure that similar incident does not occur in the future. I so move, Mr. Speaker. 